what we know from research is that when a baby boy is born, he is held less, caressed less, talked to in a rougher tone, handled more roughly, allowed to be by himself more. Isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting? From the moment a baby boy is born, we already start to disconnect from that child. And then we have the audacity to judge and shame men when they struggle to connect and get into relationships. 25, 20, 16 years later, when that's been a part of our interactions with them since the day they were born. So let's talk about the man rules. These are the rules that we follow as little boys. It's the water. As soon as we're born, we're starting to learn the man rules. These are the ideas that we internalize as little boys about who we're supposed to be in order to be real men. What are some of the rules? Be tough, stoic. Don't be vulnerable, provider. Don't cry. How many rules do you think are in don't cry? How many rules are embedded in just don't cry? What are some of the other rules? Don't show emotion. Don't feel emotion. Just be a man. Be strong. Be protective. Man up. Don't be vulnerable. So don't cry. We're getting a lot more messages in the don't cry. Those, that's the water, all those little micro interactions that happen a lot of the time. That's part of this. That's the man rules. Why do men follow these rules? Hmm? Fear? So we don't get beat up and bullied? What are we looking for? Acceptance. acceptance. What, do we, what does acceptance give us? Validation. validation, connection, community. What does validation, connection, and community give us? Sense of purpose, sense of belonging, and what does that give us? Safety. Safety. Whether it's healthy safety or not doesn't matter. Are boys more safe when they start to follow the rules? At the heart of so many of these man rules is our trauma, is the shame that we carry, that we hide from ourselves and we hide from everybody else, and we live in it. Constantly, we are immersed in it. It is like the, it's like the mud that covers us. We don't even see it. And what are we expected to do in our relationships? When men get into relationships and this expectation about being healthy in a relationship, what are we expected to do to essentially break the man rules? To be emotional, be vulnerable, to ask for help to look for ways to be intimate that are outside of sex, to compromise, to share power. And yet, what have we been doing all of our lives? The exact opposite. So I believe there is a secret there. There is a power of intimacy and a power of connection that lies within us realizing and seeing the water and seeing that powerful tension and dissonance between the man rules and those expectations for relationships. It runs so deep and I didn't see this until I was like two years into doing this work and doing these trainings every day and one time I was thinking about my relationship and I was thinking about the struggles I have in my relationship and I was like why is it so difficult for me to be in a relationship? I was married at the time and I was like man I, I'm having a tough time. What's going on here? And what I realized is this paradox of male relational intimacy is that everything we talk about with recovery, everything we talk about with therapy is exactly almost the exact same stuff we say is what creates a healthy relationship. So this, I realized, was not about men with addictive disorders. This is about men. The implications for this for me were astounding. What I found is some of the biggest the barriers for men being the men that we truly want to be are shame and trauma. And the man rules are embedded in shame. The way we learn the man rules oftentimes is by being shamed. Don't cry or I'll give you something to cry about. Stop being such a wuss. And so the man rules are shrouded in trauma and shame and it plays out in our relationships. And what's really powerful is how the man rules and the woman rules mix together. They mix together in a way 
that a lot of the times it makes us feel as though men are against women or women are against men. And you know what? We're all in the water together. Part of this has been my own quest to be the best man that I can be. And that's really the ultimate question. What kind of man do you want to be? What kind of father do you want to be? And how does your behavior fit with the man you want to be? How do your relationships fit with the father you want to be? How does the way that you respond to your children fit with the man you want to be, to your partner in your, in your community?